It's been a long week, right? Are you ready to wind down? Why not? It's time for the Wine Time Fridays podcast with Shelly and Phil. Neither are sommeliers, but both have a deep passion for life, each other, and of course, delicious wine. And now, here to talk about this week over a glass of wine is Shelly and Phil. It's wine time. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wine Time Fridays with Shelly and Phil on this Friday, April 21st, 2023, episode 157. And before we get to, oh, no, oh, Shelly, happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's wine time. Oh, that is so loud. Okay. Might as well ring the brass bell. Upstairs we could hear it. <laughs> uh, these are so such good wine uh, mics. And, you know, honestly, they're going to be good wines, too. So this doesn't count as a pop because this is our reception wine. Oh, okay. uh, Let's see. Like, I don't have any notes on that one. <laughs> nope, you don't. Um, this is, oh, good job. So this is, um, I have to learn to pour left. Oh. Oh. Break the glass. It sure sounds Show. like. Uh, well, can I pour me first? No. No? Okay. <laughs> That's the way it rolls. This is an Anaba 2019. Uh, we got this from the Gary V. Wine Club about a month ago. So it's it didn't stay downstairs in the fridge very long. Uh, so this is a reception wine. And... At the time we were recording this, we thought, why not just open a nice Chardonnay? We like Chardonnays. Yeah, we and do. And we have to Probably toast this. Too much. There we go. That was so cute. <laughs> My goodness, you're making a lot of noise. I'm making there. a ton of noise. That's good. Not yes. very Chardonnay y. Okay, let's get into it. Today, we are on Wine Clubs. Part six, uh, five, the series that we're doing. This is Wine Club, part five, the Culinary Stone. And as the time of this recording, I haven't got a catchy little title for it yet. But we have, uh, the Culinary Stone has actually been a sponsor of ours since day one of sponsors. I mean, I think they started on a, a month or two after we started up. Mm -hmm. They've been with well, us good. from the beginning. So... We have two wines from their wine club. One is from February, the lower tier wine club. And then one is from uh, October of their higher tiered wine club. Okay. So <clears throat> which we should probably start with the Grenache, right? Yes. Now, the reason I picked a Grenache, well, let's put it this way. Um, Thursday. April 27th is uh, World Marcelon Day. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know a lot about Marcelon. But I learned a little bit about it. I learned that it's a hybrid grape, Shelly. Made from? Grenache. And our second wine today, a Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh. Ooh, for those of you watching... So oh, it's not a blend of those two. It's actually... It's a hybrid grape, yeah. So uh, it's, it's a hybrid dark. grape variety that was first developed in France. Notice I didn't pour a whole lot. Oh, let's put this up here. This is 2021 Shatter Grenache. Do you know the alcohol on that? I do. It's super, super low. It's 15.5. Oh, my gosh. And it's... A French wine, too. But it's an old vine, dry-farmed wine. Which is kind of cool. Uh, the vines are 60 years old. Yeah, this isn't this a 96% Grenache and 4% Syrah? Am I close? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Ooh, you know what? I have not even put my nose in this glass yet, and I'm smelling this already. That big? pretty big it's pretty bold pretty beautiful <laughs> yum it is yum so this is a collaboration between joel gott and charles Spieler. really yep 
Um, this is... Uh, Neither one of them are from France. N- that's, that's super interesting. But this is... Uh, well, it says right on the front, Joel Gott, Charles Beeler. Uh, but this is... Fr- it is from France. How about that? Wow. Uh, to health, wealth, and abundance, gratitude, romance, and peace on earth. Peace on earth. Oh, my God. I did it again. <laughs> I did this last week. To health, wealth, and abundance, gratitude, romance. And peace on earth. Holy crap. I might as well just go sit in the other room. <laughs> no. Why Why in the world? I don't know. I have no idea. This has got to stop. Um, <laughs> next week, I'm going to let you do all of them. Hmm. Well, that could age another 10 years at least. It's got a lot of tannins, but a lot of flavor. This is a 2021. So it's, oh, yeah. Lots of tannins. There it is. <laughs> um, so this is a Grenache, most, almost all Grenache, but we said the Marcelin is a hybrid, a grape variety that was first developed in France in the 60s. It's a cross between Cabernet Sauvignon and Grenache and is known for producing rich, full bodied red wines. It is. It's very fruity, too. <clears throat> it's kind of dark what they, berries. Yeah, um, so blueberries, blackberries, super dark, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, we're not having a Marcelon, but uh, the next be- best thing is to maybe teach a little bit about it, about it while we have the Grenache and Cabernet Sauvignon. I just got buzzed by a bee. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> These mics are really good. <laughs> Uh, what else do you so, got on this? What so, would you pair with it? Well, foods that have smoky or charred fra- flavors like savory grilled meats, smoky barbecue sauces, and even grilled vegetables. Yum. Mm. This is really good. So, how oh much man. is this one normally? Do you uh, know? It's, so it's a twenty-four, twenty-five dollar bottle of wine. Remember. On there. So let's talk a little bit about the Culinary Stone a Wine Club, shall we? Yeah. <clears throat> they have two different tiers. And so this was on their first tier. It's 50 bucks a month, okay? And you're getting either two reds, two whites, or one red, one white, okay? And you get tasting notes in an email every month uh, once they put the bottles in your box, okay? So the, the Wine Club is two bottles of wine monthly. A 15% discount on all wine purchased from the Culinary Stone. Access to your quarterly after hours, uh, to their quarterly after hours member appreciation parties. And the ability to purchase tickets to member exclusive winemaker dinners. That should be coming up, their quarterly thing. Actually, it's overdue. The yeah. last one they had was in December. Oh, was it? Is that what they had one in January or something? No? December? I don't think so. Yeah, it would be it would be uh, ready to go, but I could uh, be wrong. So uh, Ethan, who has um, is now the wine buyer and the beverage manager and the um, the whole kit and caboodle, really on that side of the culinary stone, uh, is now also teaching classes uh, in April. So you've got one two days from now. Uh, on the 23rd, how to make wine, which would be kind of interesting. And then um, a week from Sunday on the 30th of April is what is wine law? I just that's think that's fascinating. Yeah, <clears throat> we kind of uh, made mention of this last week a little bit. We should go to that one. Well, honestly, I think I think it'd be super interesting. Super interesting. So those are uh, $30 a class uh, if you got all four for the month. It's been 25 bucks per, but... We kind of didn't bring it up till a little late, so there you go. Yep, there you go. We can't get the discount. <clears throat> no, but uh, this is pretty good. Um, this is really good. I'm going to have one more sip, and then maybe we can... In fact, well, I'm going to finish this while we hear a little bit more about the culinary stone. <laughs> Wow. Welcome back to Wine Time Fridays. <laughs> that wasn't a good face you made. You know what? It's, it was the tannins, it's right? The, absolutely the mm-hmm. tannins. Um, they are 
It, there. This is a young wine. They're that, everywhere there. They're everywhere. You don't want them to be. But uh, 2021, it's only two years old. And really, think about it, Shelly. It's, we're in April. It's more like they harvested yes. this about a year ago. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. I'm looking forward to this one. I, I was actually looking forward to both of them. But this is a wine that was a part of the October 2022 Higher Tiered Wine Club. And it is a Cabernet Sauvignon called the Bully. Uh, Gorman Wines? Gorman Winery. Out of, well, this one comes from Red Mountain. Yeah. We have some friends. An excellent district. We have some friends, David, Jenny, really even... Don't lick the bottle on TV. (laughs) Even Matt and Brenda love (laughs) themselves a good Red Mountain. But here is the Bully, Cabernet Sauvignon, Red Mountain, uh, 2020. Put that right there. So so Chris Gorman is the winemaker, and he's pretty much, there's like two people working at this winery, Chris Mm. and his assistant winemaker. Sometimes they get volunteers in. That's the only people that are there at that winery. So he's got really some interesting names for his wines, too. Yes, so we he have does. The Bully, The Devil You Know. What about the Chardonnay? Did you look at that one? Rosie? Is that what? Um, no, The Big Sissy. The Big Sissy. The Big Sissy is the Chardonnay. And then Rosie, obviously. Rosé, but there's The Devil You Know, and then there's The Devil You Don't Know. Oh, that's pretty fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. We and need to visit this winery. We do. Um, it's the tasting rooms in Woodenville, Woodenville, Washington. Ah, right next to Maltby. Maltby? That's Maltby. a place? Yeah. Oh. Woodenville, Bothell, Woodenville, Maltby, Maltby. Hashtag, cheersing. Cheersing. It's got a great nose. Oh, ow. <laughs> oh, ow. That is funny. So this is smoother. Yeah, already. it's definitely smoother. It's got like a meaty f- nose. This is a sixty-seven dollar bottle of wine. Now, <clears throat> you know uh, when they put these box wines in your box, they don't have a price tag on it. So they they try to stick within that. Uh, try to over deliver really. And obviously with this, one of the two wines is this wine here is $67. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think I have on the back of the bottle 58, um, probably because I found that on the Vino for uh, 58. Okay. But, but at the store, it's 67 <clears throat> Well, probably at the winery, 60, 66 99 through the winery. Um, this has been aged in 80% new French oak, 21 months. And 96% cab and 4% petite, petite verdot. verdot. You can taste that petite verdot, too. <clears throat> Isn't that amazing? Because that's a very tannic varietal, right? It's it's tannic and it's got some other strong flavor. It's not my favorite grape Mm-mm. when it's by itself. So we're having beef tenderloin for dinner tonight. Both of these wines will go well with it, but mm-hmm. this one in particular will really go well. It will. I'm super excited about that. Yeah. That's just me, though, anyway. Uh, any other <clears throat> bits of information on uh, this particular uh, wine? No. You That's know, all I have. If you, well, the alcohol. Oh, yeah. What is the alcohol? Is it 14? It's down nope. the bottom left. 15.2. Wow, we've got some hot wine tonight. <laughs> hot wine. Uh, both of them over 15%. When we come back, we're going to um, talk about the Wine Word of the Week, brought to you by The Social Web, and then a little about some of the wines we enjoyed this Apparently week. Apparently none <clears throat> on my notes. I think we, we didn't have, enjoy any wine. I think we have one, but I don't even know what it is, so we'll wait till next week to talk about that. Thank you, Lucy. Um, <laughs> there's a reason behind this, because we did quick turnaround and recordings and so we didn't really have a lot of time to so we're actually recording on easter day oh happy <laughs> easter um two weeks and that's later. why we're having some good meat yes Ooh. okay 
<laughs> when we get back. Welcome back to Wine Time Friday. It's episode 157, Wine Clubs Part 5, from the Culinary Stone. Um, they used to have a clever little name, but they've simplified it big time, and it's just the Culinary Stone Wine Club. What was it? Oh. Yeah. Back the in noble the rotten. noble rotten days. Uh, so this um, Thursday coming up is World Marcelon Day. The wines that we've had tonight are the two wines that made the hybrid grape the Marcelon grape. We probably looked for that grape, or that wine, a little late. Just saying, but it's not when, easy to find. No, but when I when I we already were going to do the Grenache, and then all of a sudden we have uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon. Those are the two grapes that they created the Marcelon grape in the '60s. So uh, the first one we had tonight was the 2021 Shatter Grenache, uh, 96 Grenache, four percent Syrah. Uh, $25 price point <clears throat> and was a part of the uh, thank that you. was Lucy. That was Lucy. <laughs> I'm going over the it's not an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that, Lucy. Uh, it, it was the first tier wine club at the Culinary Stone. And then we had the Bully Cabernet Sauvignon from Red Mountain. It's a $58 to $68 price point. Uh, they're second tier part of the wine club. So both of these are really good. And if you want a wine club that is, you know, <clears throat> I know Trevor's not going to listen all the way to this point, <laughs> but I am really liking the wines that Ethan is, is picking out. Mm -hmm. I, I really am. And it and it's not that necessarily Trevor was picking out bad wines. It's just a different palate. Mm -hmm. And so uh, these are these have been rock solid in my opinion. In my opinion. So, uh, the social web wine word of the week, Shelly. Racking. Yeah. Did, did you know what this meant? If I would have guessed, I would have thought that was yeah, racking. Yeah, like riddling or something, right? Like riddling rack, that's the, why. Yeah, the term racking But actually, I would have thought it meant putting it in bottles and putting it on a rack. Something like that, yeah. The term racking actually means moving from one vessel to another. So, so from the tank to the barrel to the barrel to the barrel, 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 to barrel to the, the tank, <laughs> barrel to the bottle. Yeah, all racking. It can be done to serve a number of different purposes. So we all learned about that today. Uh, yeah, no wine that we enjoyed this week. But we do have next week what to expect is Wine Club's part six. And I can tell you there's going to be a Viognier. Do you know why? Because it's International Viognier Day from, on a, the 28th. A week from today. And ever since we had Ravara on the show, <laughs> I was <laughs> want to say Vagineer. <laughs> we, should, we should bring uh, Lane in on that, <laughs> on that uh, for just a moment. Yes, International Viognier, Viognier Day is the 28th of it's April. It's a hard wine to know how to say. <laughs> it's a hard wine word. Wine. <laughs> Uh, that's a week from today. International Sauvignon Blanc Day is the 5th of May, uh, the day after May the 4th be with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, National World May the 4th is also? Yes, I know this. What is it? Can you tell me? It's my favorite day. Oh my gosh, that's right. It's your <laughs> Duda Day. Duda Day. <laughs> Can we talk about your Duda Day real quick? So Duda Day just comes from... Actually, it was Pastor Mike talk <laughs> at church. Lake City said, Community Church. Pick a day. Yeah. Pick a day that's only for you, and it's not your birthday, and celebrate that day. Yeah, it's a great idea, and we all need to uh, probably embrace that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to interrupt this announcements in the future to show our on the YouTube the Wine Time Fridays rating system. Rating right? systems, yeah. So that first one, Shelly, the Grenache. Again. <laughs> How did it know I was going to say phenomenal? <laughs> the Grenache went phenomenal. Yeah, I like that. Wow, really? Yeah. I like the Grenache, but I would give it prob uh, probably right. a practically perfect. Ah. Yeah, how about that? I did not see that coming. No. 
Um, how about this? Uh, the cab? Yeah, the cab stove, the bully. I would say that it's pretty damn good. Really? I'm going practically perfect with that one, too. Okay. So it's probably to, that Petit Bordeaux in there. We have to figure this out, how we're, we're going to rate this. <clears throat> we might just have to put both on there to reflect both of our votes. Could be. Anyway, uh, we digress. Uh, back to, so International Viognier Day, a week from today. International Sauvignon Blanc Day, the day after Shelley's Duda Day on the 5th of May. National World Moscato Day on the 9th of May. And... Our favorite, National Pinot Grigio Day on the 17th of May. Ooh, do we love ourselves a good Pinot Gris. We do like ourselves a good mm. Pinot Gris. They're hard to find. No comment. <laughs> no comment. Well, we've had some Pinot Gris that we enjoy. We did. A uh, huge thank you to today's sponsors, The Culinary Stone and Eternal Wine. And just with a little bit of knowledge, uh, I, in just the racking alone, a little mm. bit of knowledge... Wine becomes a lot less overwhelming. Thank you for joining us. See you next week, part six of our Wine Club series. Bye-bye. Thank you for spending part of your day to wind down with Shelly and Phil. Remember, you can listen to any episode of the Wine Time Fridays podcast by visiting winetimefridays.com or wherever you get your podcasts. And join us on our Wine Time Fridays Facebook page, Instagram, or on Twitter, which is at Vintage Tweets, for daily conversation. Until next week, here's our toast to you. To health, wealth, abundance, gratitude, peace on earth, and of course, romance.